Hello, hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to the Tuesday Travel Chat. I'm Natasha Ho, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys are having an awesome week. And um, this week I wanted to talk about creating a luxurious staycation. Um, it just came into my experience this week, a lot of reminders about the importance of rest and taking care and really just relaxing. Um, my husband is actually taking a staycation this week. He's taking some time off from work and um, we have a son who is 10 months now and realizing how important it is even for his little body, how important rest and relaxation is and how much nicer and sweeter he is after he's had a nap. And it's just like a reminder to all of us like sleep and taking care and rest is so, so important. And a reminder for me today. Um, hi Simran, hey Rebecca, great to see you. Um, I, I got to sleep in this morning and just the difference in my energy and my um, just mental acuity and everything, I feel so much more alive. So I am really excited to share how to create a luxurious staycation for you at home. So if you're, if you've been listening to some of the videos, I've been talking about all sorts of things that you can do. Um, but this, I want to just kind of take it back into, if you want to just create an experience at home that feels like you're on vacation, the luxury, the relaxation, all of the, um, high end things that you really love about having somebody else take care of you when you're on vacation, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, and so the first thing I want to say is if you're creating a staycation at home, you are on vacation. And so when we're on vacation, you know, the same rules don't always apply as when they're when we're at home. So things like counting calories, don't worry about doing that while you're on your staycation. And splurging on yourself. Like when you go on vacation, you like to, I know for me, I spend a little bit more than I would normally. So feel free to splurge a little bit, buying nice, you know, a nice wine or whatever it is that you like. If it's, you want to buy a beautiful candle or whatever, I encourage you to remember that that is a part of enjoying your vacation and taking care of yourself. And it's an investment in yourself. So, um, being willing to splurge is a part of going on vacation. And also just a couple of other things Things that for feeling like you're truly on vacation, getting, turning off the news, ignoring the news for a day or two is totally about your own mental, mental care. Turn off your phone, put your computer away for a little while. All of those things are important in order to kind of put yourself in that mindset to step away and be on vacation and enjoy the luxury of being on a vacation. That's part of the luxury is that you don't have to worry about all distractions and stuff that you have to normally take care of at home. So that is really the foundation for a luxury vacation. But I have five things today that I'm really excited to share with you in order to create that feeling of luxury while you're at home on your vacation. So the first thing is dress for the occasion. I know for me, and since I've been staying at home and not going, having to go out to work, it's super easy to just wear pajamas or sweats all day long. And so if you are creating a staycation experience, now is the time for you to put on those things that put you in a good mood. So if it is your sweats, that's totally fine. But if you have, you know, items in your closet that you haven't been wearing or that you've been wanting to wear, now is the time to do it. So put on your resort wear, your vacation outfit, Outfits, the things that make you feel sunny and bright, whatever fabulous items that you have in your closet, now is the time to wear them. If that's a big fabulous hat that you love, put that on. If it's a fur coat, wear that. If it's six inch heels, put those on. Whatever it is that makes you feel luxurious, now is the time to enjoy them. I know for my husband, he has been talking about on his vacation staycation now, like Oh, I can wear all of my fancy button-up shirts. He loves to collect um, button-up shirts that have really beautiful, intricate designs on them. His favorite designer is Robert Graham. So he has this huge collection of shirts and he hasn't really been wearing them because it's like nobody's around to see me. So um, this week on his vacation, I heard him mention, I'm going to start wearing my, my Robert Graham shirt. So now is the time to enjoy all of those items that are in your closet that you have kind of been gathering dust. If you're on a staycation, now is the time to really dress for the occasion to feel like you're on vacation whatever fancy accessories. Today I was like, oh, I have this this cute little um, bow that has been sitting in my closet. I haven't pulled it out in forever. Find those accessories and things. I, I just kind of threw on all those things that I've been sitting in my closet that I, I don't always get to enjoy. So 
Um, yeah, Melissa, his shirt collection is very, very top notch. Anybody who knows Isaac and has seen him out and about will be able to attest to the um, quality of his shirt collection. Hi, Olive, good to see you. The next thing is to create a space within your home or within your environment that is really the getaway and really will bring together that feeling of opulence and elegance. And you can do this in a room in your home. It could be a specific corner of your home. And it could even be um, if you have like a tent and you wanted to do it outside, you could put up a tent and do it there in that space. And it's really about finding a place that you can transform into this beautiful, elegant, luxurious space. And um, a couple things that you can do in order to transform this space into something that feels really luxurious first and foremost is thinking about the textures that's like when you go to a hotel room the textures are what it's all about you have nice throw pillows and um blankets that you would have there um all those cozy soft things so just go around your home and collect them and if you don't have some at home it's really easy to find a lot of these items either online or at a local store just getting some items that feel really soft and cozy and luxurious and lush is um really key the next thing is you could create a mini bar inside of your whatever area it is, your tent or your whatever your cozy space is. So collecting all the things that you have either at home or going out and buying some mini bar items, get your wine, get your popcorn, get your cocktail mixer, all of that. The mini bar is an important fixture in any luxurious space. So getting your little mini bar together. Another thing is you create a little library there. So collecting books from around your house to put in there. Even if you're not going to sit and read, books just say like sophistication and luxury. So bringing that into the space helps to create this environment of feeling like you're on a luxury vacation. And then the next thing is fresh flowers. Whenever you go to beautiful spaces, you always see fresh flowers. So getting flowers helps to uh, like upgrade and up level the experience of the space that you're in. So bringing all of these elements in there, it's like each of these small little detail pieces will help to up level that experience and make it feel more luxurious. And then other th another thing to remember is the power of both colors and scents. And um, this is something that when you go to places, companies use this very intentionally is colors and scents in order to create an experience um, that will kind of uh, tap into those feelings that you have of this being high end. So some of the colors to think about are like golds and silver, black and um, purple. Those are the colors that read as luxurious. Creamy whites are something you'll also see a lot in high end places. So bringing those kinds of colors into the space, whether that's through, like I said, pillows or blankets. Um, if you have artwork even that you want to like kind of build the space around an area in your home that has artwork like this, those are all things that can add into this feeling of it being very luxurious. And another thing is scents. Scents are really important. It's one of the strongest ways that we have an association with a memory. And so scents are something that we often forget is how important that is. So finding a spot in your home that is away from anything that might smell bad, <laughs> obviously, like you don't want it to be right next to uh, the trash can or your garage or something if that doesn't have a positive smell, but also bringing in delicious and attractive smells. Um, one thing is candles work really well or diffusers. And I would encourage you to look out for um, candles and different diffuser items that are made by like um, cosmetic brands and designers because these usually have very um, more um, real scents versus like synthetics that are used in some of the cheaper candles and diffusers that you'll find. And these ones have a much more naturally attractive combinations of smells. And they really spend a lot of time and investment in making sure that those scents um, actually are attractive. <laughs> so um, looking for something that is made by, like I said, a designer or a cosmetic brand, you'll have a much better quality in terms of the scent that they put together. So those are some of the things you can do to create like within your space, a getaway that will really tap into this feeling of having a luxury spot that you can relax in. And the next thing which kind of ties into that a little bit is creating a spa day at home. And um, there's lots of different ways that you can do this. And a couple suggestions that I have for you is to get high end products. Again, like I said, when you're on vacation, you want to splurge. So um, whether that's like the high end candles, like I mentioned, or getting um, lotions and shampoos and things like that, that will really um, would make you feel like you're on a luxurious vacation. 
My absolute favorite thing about going to fancy hotels are the bathrobes and so that made me invest in getting a really fancy cozy bathrobe. So getting you a nice cozy terry cloth bathrobe that is super like soft and lush that is one that i highly highly recommend i bought one of those and it's i after i take a shower i never want to take it off you'll see me just strolling around the house for forever in my bathroom because it's so comfy and cozy so i highly recommend getting one of those kinds of bathrooms you can even actually a lot of hotels let you order them you can buy them from the hotel brands and bring them home and have that be your bathrobe so you can get a bathrobe from the actual hotel if you have a hotel that you love um, definitely order a nice cozy bathrobe and then again like I said aromatherapy is super super important so don't forget about the importance of smells um, also chromotherapy so using light in order to relax yourself uh, my husband just ordered this contraption He'll, forgive me I don't know anything about any of these things but he's using light therapy he'll probably be able to tell you more about it in the comments he's using light therapy in order to create like a sauna experience and they have lots of different devices as I was doing a little bit of research on this um, it relaxes you so you can use light therapy or you can just create an ex experience within your space that uses light in a way that's relaxing to you so for me that's candles I love candle light because it's very relaxing and calming for me and you can also even turn your bathroom into a spa like sauna if you um, go to your water heater you can turn up the temperature like the um, max temperature a little bit so usually if you turn it up to like 140 degrees Fahrenheit I'm not sure what that is Celsius but you can convert it and um, you turn up the water heater and then go into your bathroom and you can seal off the area under the door so that the heat doesn't get out you can use like a towel under the door and then you can turn on the water either from the faucet or from the shower and let that run and let the steam fill the room so you want to make sure that like the shower curtains and everything are open so it can fill the room and then close the doors and the blinds for the window and all of that let the steam fill up inside the room and the steam has all sorts of really positive properties it can clear out your um, nasal system has a lot of relaxation properties it can just put you in a state of really great relaxation so um, if you look online there's a bunch of uh, tips on how to like create a spa sauna in your bathroom and you don't need a bunch of stuff it's basically just the hot water and then get sit on your bathtub or sit inside the bathtub and just relax and enjoy the steamy goodness so creating a spa inside your um, inside your home is a great way to feel that sense of luxury because it's like how often do we go on the go to the spa on a regular basis probably not that often but when you're on vacation that's the kind of experience that you want to have so bringing that into your home and having a beautiful steam room or just relaxing bath is a great way for you to enjoy the luxury of your staycation the next thing is to go all out on the menu um, this is super important for me as you know I always talk about how much I love food so when you're having your staycation buy all the expensive beers or wines or non-alcoholic beverages that you love and adore make sure that you build up that mini bar like I was talking about earlier and really to go all out um, order in from fancy restaurants don't worry about you know having to cook and do dishes and all this order in delicious food um, my husband and I whenever we do date night the other rule that we have is that we have to eat on actual real plates so take the food out of the containers and put it on a real plate eat with real you know knives and forks and all of that but really enjoy the you know the food and go to the restaurants that you would normally the types of restaurants you would normally go to if you were on vacation versus just ordering from your you know local spot that's around the corner find some fancier places or places that you've been dying to try that you haven't tried in the past um, just go through and and try whatever it is that it seems like it would be interesting and take a be a little bit more of a risk taker a little bit more of an adventurous eater maybe than you normally would in order to have that experience of feeling like you're on vacation and like I said forget about the calories don't worry about counting calories and how much it is so have the appetizer have the entree and have a dessert maybe two desserts maybe three have that extra glass of wine um, just really enjoying yourself and making sure that you use this opportunity to treat yourself 
That's like the number one rule of, of, the, of luxury vac staycation is treat yourself. Um, and then the final thing um, for creating your luxury staycation is to get out and enjoy some luxurious kind of act pastimes, luxury activities. And so um, a few options would be like going to the tennis courts or going to a golf course. I hope that didn't mess up the video. Okay, are we back? I think we're back. Um, hit the courts. So if you go to a golf course or the driving range, you could set up a game of croquet in your backyard or play some bocce ball in your backyard. Um, those are all, I think, really fun options, really easy to access. And the nice thing is a lot of them are still open. Even if your city is still social distancing, they're still open and easy to access. I know like around the corner from me, we have a golf course and I see people out there all the time. So um, there are activities, again, that I associate with luxury vacation vacation, going out and going golfing or playing tennis, maybe not necessarily the things you would do on a normal day. For me, I know that I am terrible at all of those sports, but it's always fun when I have a memory of Isaac and I, the first time we went on vacation together to, I think it was Hawaii, there was a tennis court attached to the hotel that we were at. So we decided to get tennis, tennis rackets and go out there and play. And then he had the nerve to tell me, oh yeah, I had like a tennis instructor when I was a kid. So I actually know what I'm doing. So I I had no idea what I was doing. I was terrible at it. At the end, I ended up with like tennis elbow, I think, because my arm was hurting for the entire next day. But it was really fun. And something that I wouldn't normally do is go out there and, and hit the tennis court. So it's a great way to, you know, up level the experience of your staycation to go out and do something that feels um, a little bit more luxurious and something that you wouldn't do on a normal basis. So I suggest, yeah, tennis, golf. And like I said, you can bring them home with bocce ball or setting up croquet in your backyard you can order a set and set them up and have fun with the family outside or you know whoever it is that you want to play um, play with it's a really great way to create that luxury experience that you wouldn't normally have um, on your staycation. So just to review the things that we talked about today, um, for creating a luxury staycation, first and foremost, dress for the occasion. Really make sure that you wear all the fabulous things in your closet that you haven't had a chance to wear in the past few weeks. Next, create a getaway spot in your space. So find all of the luxurious items, the throws, the pillows, the wonderful scents, bring those together in a space in your home so that you can enjoy them and really feel like that's a retreat that has that feeling of luxury. The third thing is for you to create a spa day at home find a you know a fabulous um, robe and get some great scents turn your bathroom into a little sauna and relax and enjoy that the fourth thing is to go all out on the menu get all of the drinks and the foods and things that you love try out a fancy restaurant that you've been dying to try and go all out splurge don't worry about the calories and the last thing is for you to enjoy some high-end pastimes go out to the tennis courts, go golfing, do something that you wouldn't normally do, but that you would do on vacation because this is your vacation. So I just want to remind you all to enjoy your time and make sure that you take a vacation if you've been working nonstop, working around the clock, and now's the time when a lot of us would be stepping to planning or going on vacations. Kids are gonna be out of school pretty soon, so I really hope that you guys are taking care of yourselves, doing well, and if you have any questions on how to create a staycation, um, whether that is you just want something luxurious and elegant that you can do at home, or if there's a specific destination that you'd wanna recreate for yourself at home, please let me know. I would love to help you and use any of your questions or recommendations either to create content here on the channel or I can work with you one-on-one -on -one in order to create an experience for you so that you can have a fabulous staycation. And if you um, want to leave me a comment here on the video or send me a message, I would love to support you. And that is all for today. Um, I thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Melissa. Good to see you. Um, yeah, that. thank you guys so much for joining me. That's it for today's Tuesday Travel Chat, and I hope you guys have an awesome week, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.